I hope you got out there and enjoyed the beautiful weather that we had today for this early August day as temperatures only needed into the upper 80s. Most of us stayed dry with a good deal of sunshine, although the clouds did start to roll in through the second half of the day and those clouds look to be sticking with us and eventually are going to produce some rain as we get into our Thursday and Friday. So after getting a dry day, it does look like those rain chances will be going back up over the next 48 hours as you head into your Thursday and Friday. And because of that, we're going to keep these cooler temperatures around the next couple of days. Highs likely only going to make it into the mid 80s before that sunshine returns, helping to heat things back up by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday. But here's a look at your rain chances over the next 48 hours. And you can see tonight and into the first half of our Thursday rain chances stay fairly low. So if you need to get some stuff done, definitely do it tomorrow morning because look what happens, especially once we get past 5 p.m. tomorrow. Rain chances really start to ramp up. So this does look to be Definitely a second half of the day and mainly as we get into the late afternoon evening hours for those showers to be pushing in and it even could continue through the overnight hours. So even waking up Friday morning, we're going to have the chance for some rain around before then kind of dying out a little bit, but we'll still have the chance for some showers even Friday evening. Today, though, we did stay fairly dry. There were a few brief little showers out towards the upstate that tried to move into Chester and Fairfield County, but most of us did stay dry. We had some of that additional cloud cover though this afternoon, which allowed temperatures to only make it into the upper 80s, but those clouds are since beginning to break up a little bit. But as we look off to our north and west, we have another upper level wave that's moving through Kentucky down into Tennessee. We got some severe weather back into Missouri. We'll watch for another upper level disturbance to develop in the same spot tomorrow afternoon and eventually then head for the Carolinas. So that's why we'll be watching this area tomorrow. And then you can see even more activity as you get back over into the Rocky Mountains. That looks to be for Friday. So tomorrow morning, it is a dry start to our day. Could even have the first round of some light rain moving in by early afternoon. But the better rain chances definitely as we get towards six, seven o'clock in the afternoon and evening, even around midnight still could have a few hit or miss showers with us. So it does look like definitely a second half of the day on Thursday brings the better chance for rain. Friday morning could start off a little bit dry and even some sunshine break out Friday afternoon, but it does look like another little wave moves in Friday evening that could give us the, some hit or miss showers and even a rumble of thunder or two. And then things start to trend a little bit drier pushing into the weekend. So for tomorrow, we're going to go mostly cloudy, keeping temperatures in the mid 80s with that 60% chance for those afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms. 50% chance for the rain on Friday with a high of 84. Partly cloudy and looking fairly dry Saturday and Sunday, but back into the 90s before a few more rain chances returns. We get into Monday and Tuesday with our next system pushing into the Carolinas.